Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and coming up here on today's show, I'm going to give you my preview up against the New England Patriots and five things to watch for. But you know what, man? I can't go out to Las Vegas for this game, even though my dad's going to be hanging out there. But I want to hang out with the nation. Where? Here on YouTube. And I want to dominate the internet with this watch party we're going to be doing. We're going to be having beers fireball shots and we're going to be just ripping apart all these Patriot fans so if you want to join the number one watch party for the Las Vegas Raiders on Friday hit that subscribe button turn on those notifications because we're going live 15 minutes before kickoff and I can't freaking wait so this is a big game this, is, this one's going to get a lot of media attention and when you think about that it's Josh McDaniels up against Bill Belichick. The Raiders so far this preseason have yet to lose, and there's a lot of people out there that are like, ah, Mitch, it's the preseason. I don't give a shit. I show up every day to work ready to compete. I expect these players who are going to be competing for jobs to show up and compete. You know, also, I'm expecting Raider Nation to show up and be ready to compete. And the easiest way to get ready, get your muscles loosened up here, is let me know who you got down in the comment section. If you're repping with the silver and black, if you're repping that shield, if you are vibing with the Raiders, or if you just effing hate the Cheatriots, then spam LV down in the comments because producer Jack, Patriots fan, He's going to tell people to come to the show and spam N-E. We can't let that happen. Coming up next here on the Raiders Report, we're going to be looking at our Patriots preview and what to watch for. Now, full disclosure, you're not going to see many starters out there, and I think it's for two reasons. One, it's already been reported that Chase Garbers is more than likely going to play the entire game. On top of that, it, the Raiders are going to just try to figure out those bottom roster guys in terms of who's going to make the 53 because final roster cuts are on Tuesday, August 30th at 4 p.m. Eastern time. On top of that, the Raiders and the Patriots play each other week 15, and the way that both of these coaching staffs work, I don't anticipate them to give away any tips whatsoever. So what's the first thing I'm watching for? Hell yeah, I'm watching for McDaniels up against Belichick. It's not only just the head coach's battle. It's not just the fact that McDaniels has worked underneath Bill for so long. When you see how many coaches and how many players that have previously been on the Patriots underneath Bill are now with the Raiders, it's eye-popping, realistically. Like, you got McDaniels, your general manager, Dave Ziegler, offensive line coach, Carmen Brasillo, Carmen Clemens, the assistant offensive line coach, Patrick Graham, your DC, Mick Lombardi, the OC, Bo Hardigree, quarterback coach, Rob Ryan, Santa Claus, senior defensive assistant, and then Jerry Schlumpinski, your senior offensive assistant. Nine total pass pass coaches. That's a lot, but guess what? We also got nine past Patriots players, and if the Raiders would have kept Chris Lacey, you could have added 10. Brandon Bolden, Deshaun Bauer, Jermaine Illuminor, Deron Harmon, Jacob Hollister, Jacob Johnson, Chandler Jones, Jared Stidham, Isaiah Zuber. Let me take a deep breath because a lot, a lot of Patriots connections in this game here. The next thing that I'm watching for with my binoculars, who's not playing? The reason why I say that is because if you're not playing in this game, it's a good thing. That means you're going to make this team. Now, sure, you might see a few extra players out there competing for spots. It doesn't mean that they're not going to make it. But if you're not in this game, just like you saw last week, the 25, 30 players that didn't make the trip to Miami, those guys got their roster spots. It's going to be okay. If a player's injured, then sure, that's totally different. So remember, August 30th, 80 down to 53 players. Circle this date on your calendar. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you got those notifications turned on because I'm going to be going live on Tuesday. We're going to be doing the final roster cuts. We're going to have the roster, the entire thing here, and it's going to be on the Raiders report. If you like to bet on the game, you want to bet on NFL preseason games, at this point, man, I'm going all in on the Raiders. We're going to go 4-0 in this preseason. The over-under. Hit right now at 37.5 at the time that I'm recording this video. Las Vegas remains a favorite at minus one. If you want to put your money where your mouth is, if you want to slide all those chips to the center of that table, go to chatsports.com slash Raiders. Use promo code Raiders125. If you love to bet on anything, NFL, NBA, college football, Patrick Seatman's favorite sport, underwater basket weaving, you can do it at the number one place to put all your sports bets. That's BetUS. But 
if you don't get 125% deposit bonus, it's not my fault. It's your fault. Because if you go to chatsports.com slash Raiders, you use promo code Raiders125, you get 125% deposit bonus. What does that mean? You deposit $100, you get $125 for free to bet with. Yeah, sounds pretty damn good, right? So predict the score. I showed you. The over-under, 37 and a half. Raiders minus one favorites. I'm going to predict that the Raiders win this game. I get that, you know, the Patriots might be carrying a little bit of a chip on their shoulder because they've been getting their butts whooped during joint practices. But I'm not betting against my team, especially not in the preseason. Let's go to the next thing I'm watching for here. To Sean Bauer and Cleveland Furl. I'm not 100% sure if Clee actually ends up getting on the field. I anticipate it. He's been practicing. And if the Raiders moved on from Drake, what makes me think that they might not move on from Clee? I don't know, right? There's already been rumors around Alex Leatherwood. But for Bauer, he's earned a spot. He deserves to be on this team. And if he has another standout game, Dude, you're I'm telling you right now, he's going to be on my final 53-man roster projection video. The next thing I'm going to be looking at, bubble candidates. I'm not blowing any bubbles on today's show. I'm sorry. But when I go through this entire roster, I can look at it, and I can pretty confidently look at all y'all and say, I think guaranteed I could say 43, 44, 45 players a lot to make it. Right now, that's my gut feeling. It might just be the beer and all the beer boots I've done the past week, though. But from the offense and defensive side of the football, these eight players right here, I can make an argument for them making the team. I can make an argument for them not making the team. Right? Brent Brown, he's been running the football solid. DJ Turner, explosive return man, good receiver. Jesper Horstead, might be the best pass-catching tight end, not named Foster Moreau or Darren Waller. Hollister's been banged up. Nick Bowers is a better blocker. Alex Bars gives you some offensive Lyman flexibility, and then Barton, if you are actually concerned that Leatherwood can't play tackle, he can't. Brandon Parker's injured, he is. And then Thera Munford's injured, would you just keep Jackson Barton then for the extra depth? So those are the players on the offense that I'm going to keep keeping a close eye on. On the defensive side of the football, we already talked about Furl and Bauer. Kyle Petko, Tyler Lancaster, I think that those two players right now are battling it out for that final defensive tackle spot. The Raiders just signed Tay Davis. You bet your ass I'm going to be watching him. Luke Masterson, Darian Butler. I think those two players are battling it up for the final linebacker UDFA spot. And then for your cornerbacks, Amik and Sam Webb are two players that I can make legitimate arguments deserve it. I can also make legitimate arguments that they don't deserve it. And then Roderick Teamer, because he's the biggest reason why the Raiders moved on from Tyree Gillespie. So which player will you be watching the closest? And I know... It sounds creepy. I tell my girlfriend all the time, I'm going to be watching grown men in tight clothes extremely close for my entire life probably. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I grew up with sports. I grew up where it was okay where you slap somebody on the butt, tell them a good job. So guess what? I'm going to be slapping players on the butts on YouTube, not in real life because I get my ass kicked. But I'm going to be watching guys very closely. So let me know, which one are you watching the closest? And then obviously the last thing I'm watching for, the offensive line. Realistically, if, if I were to watch the game, and if the NFL could just zoom in right here and get that close on the entire offensive line, that's what I would want. I want to be in the huddle. I want to be in that offensive line to see how the footwork goes, how they pick up blitzes, because it's still a coin flip of, what that starting offensive line is going to look like. I know it's going to be Colton Miller. Hell, Dylan Barnes been getting more work as the starting left guard over John Simpson. Andre James is going to be your center. But if Alex Leatherwood gets kicked into right guard, does he play better than Lester Cotton? Jermaine Illuminor, it sounds like right now, if the Raiders' season were to start today, he'd be your starting right tackle. If you like merry-go-rounds, if you like circuses, then I'm telling you what, get your tickets for the Raiders' offensive line because they're going really, really quick. So those are my five things that I'm watching for up against the New England Patriots and the Raiders' final preseason games. McDaniel up against Belichick. Who isn't playing? Deshaun Bauer and Klee, roster bubble candidates, and then the offensive line. But you know what? It's the final preseason game. I figured I'll give you one more thing to watch for. My dad's going to be at the game, and he bought himself, or not even bought, Homeboy designed a t-shirt, which you can see right here, front and back. If you see my dad walking around Allegiant Stadium, say, hey, I watched the Raiders report. I like what your kid does, even if you don't like what I do. Just say hi to him. He didn't know how many people would say hello to him, but I appreciate the nation. I know my dad does. My entire family 
appreciates everything that y'all do for me and continue to let me do what I love, which is talking about the silver and black. Here's the thing, though. The first 10 people that go up to my dad and either say, hello, I watch the show, I'm subscribed, we're going to give you something. And I can't tell you what it is exactly, but the first 10 people that say, what's up to my dad? You're going to get something special from him that I gave him to just say thank you for all the support that you guys have given me. Now, if you want to interact with me on social media, if you want to hit me up on Venmo, I'm at MitchellRens365 literally every. Why should you follow me on Twitter and Instagram? Stay up to date with Raiders news and rumors. Why should you follow me and become a friend on Venmo? Well, one, if you want to support the show, and two... I'm going to an event on Saturday with Graphic Raider. We're going to have this huge party. And shout out to Daniel Jimenez, who's always one of the top people around on the show. I told him to add me as a friend. I sent Daniel Jimenez some money, and he was able to get himself a ticket. So now, DJ Jimenez0420, we're going to be hanging out. We're going to be having a good time. Also, shout out to Lee Fair 1K for giving me a follow on Twitter. Shout out to Michael Anthony underscore 24. That dude's jacked. If you want to see your name on a future Raiders Report show, hit me up on Twitter, hit me up on Instagram, ask me at a friend on Venmo because I'm telling y'all, as the season gets going, we're going to start doing a lot more money giveaways on Venmo. It's the easiest way where I can say thank you, 50-50 raffle style, and the only way that I can do it is if you add me as a friend on Venmo. Remember, this might be surprising, at MitchellRen365. So it's the end of the video, y'all. Preseason Wrap it up, something that I should probably do more often, but hey, you know, girlfriend, IUD, it's all good. But it's the end of the video, so if you're a real one, spam real one down in the comment section right now. I would appreciate it. Go Raiders, it's time to go 4-0.